it's Gracie from The Music Enthusiast, and today I'm here with Scotty Berg. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Um, getting into the questions, what made you want to get into music? Uh, so basically, every ever since I could talk, I just sang a lot of Queen, a lot of like the old style music from my dad. So just sang a lot of that. And then, yeah, just from there on in, just wanted to become a singer. I mean, you've obviously been loving music for a while now. Do you have a favorite musical memory? Um, probably singing at the Wentworth Rock Shows. Those are fun. It's just like a rock show in, in my town. It's fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, how do you feel doing live performances? Is there something specific that you love about it? Uh, yeah, it's just the rush of energy because it's just so exciting but every time I perform it's just like a rush of butterflies at the start but it's really fun when you're out there performing. I mean, have yeah. you figured out a way to get over the butterflies or get over the nerves before you start singing? I asked my dad about that and he just said it means you care and I just took that into consideration mm -hmm. all the time so yeah. I mean, what has it been like for you kind of starting out in the music industry? It's kind of crazy because it's a massive industry. So you just kind of have to just be yourself and just kind of let the ride take you somewhere. Because keep posting. Yeah. yeah it's... I know it can get very competitive at times with all the different artists. Have you had to deal with that side of it yet? Or have you felt the competitiveness? Uh, not really. Not yet. I've done a lot of competitions on the internet and stuff, but not really. Mm -hmm. No, I saw that you're super active on TikTok. Um, what was that like for you kind of posting on there for the first time? Well, in December, I started posting on there and TikTok's a massive platform, you know, so like random videos blow up. So I started posting on there. And then I posted one, Fly Me to the Moon, and that blew up. It got like 500,000 views. It was crazy. It was. I mean, how did that feel for you, kind of watching the numbers go up and seeing you get this recognition? It was kind of surreal because I didn't really know that it would get that many views. Like, I just, I was just in my living room just posting a video with me and my dad and posted it. And like half an hour later, I had like 5,000 likes and it was crazy. I mean... Yeah, talking more about you and your own music, how do you tend to find inspiration for any songs that you try and make? Uh, I just listen to a lot, like a lot of top 40 music and just take in like, well, like a lot of people are writing about and then I just take that into consideration a lot. I mean, talking more about your music, do you have any future projects that you could hint at or tell us about? I am. Um, I'm actually going down to Nashville. Really? I book flights June 11th. And yeah, so this um, company, Circle 11 Entertainment, was like these interns or scouts were um, looking through Instagram and finding a singer. And um, yeah, they went on my page and they said, you should like talk to these people, CL and Jeff. And they're like the top guys of Circle 11 Entertainment. And Seattle Rose has written for like Selena Gomez, um, Jonas Brothers and all of them, like massive stars. So we went on their page and they're legit. Like they like, they're really family. Like they're really nice. And yeah, they wanted me to come down to Nashville and that's really cool. Yeah, it's kind of surreal, but. It's... I mean, that's amazing. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, how does that feel kind of like putting in all this hard work and now getting the recognition that you've worked so hard for. It's pretty cool because I started taking lessons when I was nine and I just kept getting gigs and busking and just doing all this, like doing wineries, singing at hockey games, and then finally getting the recognition. It's kind of, it's kind of, it's just nice. Just, yeah. I mean, talking about yourself, do you have you seen a change in your voice or your music throughout when you started versus now? Yeah, for sure. I feel like my voice has like matured. Like I've gained like a lot of more confidence 
and I'm just just getting started. But yeah, just more confidence. Every time I perform, it's just I keep getting better and better, and that's just a joy of performing. Mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is more of a fun question for you, but if you could describe yourself and any future music you have in three words, what do you think they would be? Three words, future. Um, like three words, like two you... or three words, whichever. Um, <laughs> like yourself and your music vibe. Uh, I'd say I'm like kind of energetic. Um, loving from my family and um hmm same fun i mean yeah. that's pretty good considering i put you on the spot <laughs> yeah. um yeah. talking more about your future do you have any dream collaborations you would want to have probably sean Mendes or justin bieber that'd be cool for sure. That would be amazing. I'd love to see that for you. Yeah. Um, talking about other artists, do you have a favorite song at the moment? Favorite song? I get this one a lot and I don't really have a favorite song because I listen to a lot, but my favorite, I could tell you my favorite band right now. It's Why Don't We? They're a good band. They are. Yeah. yeah. I saw yeah. your cover of their song and it was really good. <laughs> Um, my last question for you. Our website is all about like up and coming artists. Do you have anyone that you would want to recommend to others? Any artist? Yeah, there's this um, my good friend, like a buddy of mine, Justin, Justin Moore, and he's blew up on TikTok and he's he's helping me like write my it and over song and he's really nice. He's an amazing artist and you should they should check him out. Yeah, we'll definitely yeah. check him out yeah. after this. Yeah. Um, thank you so much for doing this interview. It was so nice to talk to you. Yeah, sweet. Thanks for having me.